All right, guys. Here's the car, the Trailblazer. So this is on the Vortec 4200. I'm showing you how to do the throttle body cleaning. Very simple procedure. Um, there is some things to note, uh, as there's been a few different versions of the 4200. Minor differences here and there. Um, but I'll show you guys what I mean and what I'll be doing here today. Uh, so for me, luckily, I, have, I think I have the easiest of the set because I just need to take off this hose clamp here, take off the resonator, and then take off the throttle body with a little clips and everything right here. It is worth noting though, it's not that simple for everybody. Depending on the year and model of the car, there's a few differences. Some uh, trailblazers have a fuel regulator. It goes from here and it plugs into a regulator that's down in here. It's a wire. Sometimes that has to be disconnected. So you may need to watch out for that in case it does need to be disconnected. Um, that's one thing to watch out for. On its other cars, uh, this tube, so first off, luckily, like I said, in my case, I don't think I have to take off the air filter housing, but some models you do, depending on how the tubing is set up and everything there. So first thing, if you do have to, there's three screws. Uh, actually, let me just get my little one right here so I can show you guys. There's one screw. There, you guys can see it. There it is. One, two, three. Now, also, for some reason, some uh, uh, Trailblazers with the 4200 series Vortec, um, this uh, intake, I think it's an intake uh, charger or, or puts air, extra air in. I'm not actually, I never looked into it. I'm not sure, but it's there. Anyways, uh, that is actually hooked up into the actual uh, the, the, this uh, tubing here for the air filter itself whereas some like this one here it's over here so either way whatever the case is if you need to take this off you'll need to disconnect it whether it's disconnecting it from here or disconnecting it from here uh, that being said however I don't think I'll need to go through all that so what we really need is you'll need your socket set a couple screwdrivers if you need to do your throttle body having a good size Phillip head that's long that you can really get into would have really be useful. In this case though, because I just have to do a couple clamps and things like that, hose clamps, I just need to have flathead. Um, of course, some throttle body cleaner and a ratchet set. So let's get started here. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna loosen this up. Take very long. To just get it loose. You don't want to do it all the way out, but you want it just loose enough. I can just pop that sucker right off. There. So now you got to open those up. Now I believe, if I recall, I'm going to go get it now, so I'm just going to pause the video for a sec. But I believe those are 10 mils. I'll verify with you guys in a second. There's two, there's one there, and there's one, if you can see, it's over there. So, and of course there's a hose clamp over here. That's to hold the resonator onto the throttle body itself. I'm just gonna pause the video for a sec just to get my tools. Okay, to confirm, I did check it. It is in fact a 10 mil. So, what you do is you just loosen that off. You can see there's a clip under there that's moving with it, but it is loosening quite nicely. And back here, there is another one. Let's get that sucker. Now, for the interest of the video, I'm obviously not going to spend all my time just unscrewing those so you guys will boringly watch me unscrew a couple nuts, but you get the idea. But I just want to show you guys. There's the one bolt there. The second one is here. Reference again, that's one here and one here. That's all that you need. And of course, that there. And. There is a hose under here that you'll need to disconnect when you lift off the resonator. So you can see it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. When I, I'll come back in a second, that will be off. But again, straightforward. I don't think you guys wanna, again, boringly watch me do that. Just take off the two bolts, the hose clamp, that hose there, and the whole thing. Okay, I'm good back, guys, and I've done exactly that. So I've taken off the two bolts, I've loosened off the, the clamp, and I've disconnected the hose. This took a little bit of pulling, not much by any means, but came off. Um, now, I don't know if it's the same for all trailblazers. I never actually looked. But this does have a hose clamp, a clamp back here holding a what looks like wiring 
on here. You'll have to disconnect that as well. So keep that in mind. It's just a matter of, let's see if I can get you guys a shot of it here. There, just a matter of lifting that off, opening it up, taking it out, just do that here. There, and it's out. And then it just slid right off the throttle body. And we're good. There we go. Resonator's off. Put it down. So, and now that that's done, we have to disconnect a couple things. We have to disconnect this. We have to disconnect this. Once it's disconnected, you get access to pull up the throttle body, which is just these four bolts. One, two, three, four. And those four bolts are held on with the same 10 millimeter, millimeter I believe here. You know what? Let's check that right now to be sure. Yep, 10 mil. So we'll take those off. So these here looks like it's pretty standard clips. Let's go ahead. Now I've never looked at this before. It's my first time doing it on this car, so bear with me a moment. I need two hands for this. So here's what I'll do for you guys. I'm gonna take them both off and when I come back, I'll tell you exactly what was needed, where the clips came off from. You know, sometimes these wiring harnesses can be tricky. Some of them are easy, but I'm gonna need two hands. So I'm gonna put this down for a second. I a couple right clips right. and uh, it's actually really easy to take off. I didn't take them off yet, but I figured I'll show you guys how to do it. Now obviously I'm on this side of the car and this top one is easy enough. First, let me just get the light so you can see it. You can see obviously the little clip right there so all you got to do is put your finger on that squeeze and pull out you go this one here this black one here is a little trickier but also easy just push down so you'll see there's a little notch right here push down out pull out that's it there you go disconnected simple easy all right so now we got to disconnect the throttle body itself so I'm gonna do the same thing here again. I know some people, when they do, do this stuff, they show you them taking off all four bolts. Pretty sure you guys, if you're already this far ahead and you're working on this, you probably have a general knowledge of it. But you know, you get the idea, put your socket on, and just start going at it. So I'm gonna come back, there we go, with all this disconnected and the throttle body in hand, and show you what the next steps right. are. Go ahead, there, it's off. In hand, as I promised. One thing to note, the four bolts that came out there are quite long, so um, you're gonna have to go at it a little bit, much more than the bolts holding the resonator on. Um, it it feel, looks like it's gonna be small bolts just to the size of the throttle body itself, but it actually is quite large. Noting that as well, I'm actually gonna show you a little bit of extra cleaning I'm gonna do because it is dirty. Now, depending on how dirty your throttle body is, sometimes you just get away with spraying some of the throttle body on there and be done with it. I'm gonna have to go one step further on this. I'm gonna get the throttle body cleaner, but I have some kind of very soft brushes I'm gonna use to clean this up as I spray, uh, because just spraying alone, I have a feeling from the looks of it, it's not gonna get the job done. I could see why though this would be throwing up coats because that is, that is bad, very bad. All right, so let's get to that. All right, so uh, I'm about to begin the process. To uh, as you see here, I have a, a collection plant pan for all the spray. This stuff is pretty toxic. Uh, I'm using CRC based throttle body clean. Uh, just one I've picked up at a local store. It does pretty good. Um, I am wearing safety glasses. Here, I'll just show you, I'll show you here. Safety first, because this stuff is not good for you in any sort of way. So, protection. And you should be wearing gloves. I'm not, but don't follow my lead on that one. Definitely make sure you're wearing gloves. Uh, safety first. Now, I have my brushes here. I have three different types of different grades. I'm going to be starting off with nylon uh, simply because I don't want to damage the finish on this. So start off with the nylon and if I need something heavier I'll probably move up to you know maybe the brass uh, here or something like that, something a little rougher. But we'll see what we need first and go from there. So all it really is is I'm going to be spraying it down. You know, here, uh, uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand but uh, essentially what I'll do is I'll spray it down uh, and once it's sprayed down I'll scrub it 
and uh, I'll come back to you guys. I'll let you know how it goes. I wish I could show you guys. It's only me doing this, and I, I can't do it with one hand. It's impossible. Can't spray and hold it. Don't want to leave it on the driveway to damage the driveway. Don't want to put it in there because it's dirty. So no choice there. Avoid getting any of the spray in here. If you even want, try it um, on even over here too. Uh, try and tape it up maybe. That would be a good idea. Um, to do something to protect it. Uh, try and avoid getting any overspray in these parts whatsoever. Other than that, go with it and uh, see what happens. So I'll, gi I'll give it a go. I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see how it looks. All right, so as you can see, everything is all cleaned up, ready to go. The nylon brush, the brush with the cleaner worked perfectly. Um, I got no spray into the plugs. I was very cautious with the spray. Of course, it has a little red nozzle that comes in those cans. So that was very helpful in making sure there was no overspray. Uh, there is, of course, a little couple of little marks here and there, but nothing significant. All the major gunk you guys saw previously was cleaned. I've done the front and the back. Of course, in here looks all brand new, looks perfect. So now installation is the reverse of uh, uh, of taking out, of course. So we start off by putting the throttle body in. That goes back in just like this over here. I'll put that in a few minutes. And just to recap to you guys, once you put the four bolts in, then we have to put this in here. We plug this back in, put the resonator in by sliding it over this part. You hook up that hose, do not forget that hose that hooks up under here. Put in your two bolts, that's one, two, put this back on, screw it on and away you go. If you guys had a trailblazer that you had to do anything else including taking off the air box, removing the hose that's over there, or if you had that little fuel line, do not forget to put those in as well. But once done, your job is complete. Um, even with me filming this video, having to stop the film to show you guys and everything, the whole job took me about 45 minutes. Honestly, if you're really handy and really good with tools, I wouldn't be surprised if this took you 20 minutes, a half hour. If you're a little bit of a newbie or you're getting started on, on working on cars, eh, probably about 45 minutes. It's not a very hard job, um, but it's very important to do and it wouldn't hurt to make sure everything is done properly. Uh, that said, some people also say to disconnect a negative battery cable, which will help reset the computer if you're having an engine code. <clears throat> of course, I have um, ODB2 meter. I hook it up and erase the codes anyways, which kind of resets everything. Some people also says it helps readjust the timing. I've never had this problem before. But if you want to do it safe, you can disconnect the battery. Just make sure you have to reset all your stereo and all that stuff as well. Um, other than that, you guys are set, ready to go. I'm going to go complete, put this all together, and uh, get started on doing your trailblazers. All right, guys, take care, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys around.